we're here to answer the question, which game engine is better at creating a first-person shooter, Unity, Unreal, or Godot? We've got one hour. Go. Looks like Gorka's already got a cameraman. Like, literally, it's a man who's half <laughs> camera, half man. I feel like half of my time is just going to be installing different packages. And the other half is going to be defending Unity. <laughs> Not going to get too much into that. I got to focus. I was about to try and show off that I'd made something running super fast, but I forgot to add lights. I forgot to add collision, and I just fell through an empty dark world. <laughs> the Godot community is like, come on, Bram, don't let us down. I feel like I'm at the biggest oh. disadvantage here because I primarily work in 2D, and I barely know my way around a 3D editor. See if I can and remember how to do all this. And the excuses have started. <laughs> oh boy. It's just 2D with an extra D. So I, I'd urge the Godot and Unity contestants to not look at the Unreal progress. Yeah, better not look. It's about to go triple A. <laughs> Already looking for a publisher. <laughs> <laughs> One of the rules today is you are allowed to use assets from whatever asset store is available to you, or just click make my game awesome if you're in Unreal. That's what I did. Bonus points if computer. you make a game that is actually fun. Wow, look at my guy, he's like stretching. Here's my entire level, done. You probably could have gone to the asset store, Steven, and got a box. Just as good as that one. <laughs> Just you wait. With disrespect for that excellent box. In my experience with battles, it's around about now that people start to bring in code from other projects they've worked on. So if there's a little bit of importing scripts from other projects, that's okay. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Thankfully, I've put a bunch of helpful scripts on GitHub for free that I've just dragged into this because I figured that's publicly available. I've got a menu set up. If I want to change my field of view or my mouse sensitivity, I can do that. No one to shoot at yet, but you can change the field of view <laughs> on the capsule. Sh and shooting capsule is a way off. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steven's dabbling in a little bit of Unity asset store. Surely this is the advantage that Unity has. It's a pretty good asset store. I don't even know how Godot can compete if Steven starts to tap into the power of the Unity <laughs> asset store. Doing my best, except every single thing I download and import takes one to two minutes, which, you know, you do that a few times and you chop into 60 minutes real quick. Haven't you paid for the faster download upgrade? <laughs> Gorka, today are you doing entirely Blueprint or are you doing any C++? I have one hour, so 100% Blueprint, yeah. I love the texture you've got on your capsule there. there oh, we go. No. oh, you ruined it. No, I made it. This is perfect. Now I'm using the right renderer because Unity has a million renderers. Oh, you've got a guy with a snorkeling mask. Did you do that Let's yourself? See. Uh, no, this is one. <laughs> this is an amazing asset that I just downloaded. And Bram, you're using GD Script today, yeah? I am using GD Script. I love it. Because Godot did used to have visual scripting, but that went away in version 4. Oh, I have a suspicion that uh, Bram has gone and imported something from somewhere. I have. This is... Uh... Cheating. <laughs> so the Unreal guy doesn't get to call other people cheats. Look at you, you've already got four arms. Like, look at you. Yeah, that's so many that's more limbs winning. than I want. Look, so cool. What kind of game can I make in 50 minutes? A good one. I really hope that one of you, instead of having a gun, just has the character with a finger that goes pew pew and shoots some kind of lasers out of their finger. Steven? Give me like a th three minutes uninterrupted. Bug the, uh, distract the others. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, Gorka, how you doing? You're so far out in the lead with your fancy Unreal Engine. Like, it's only a matter of time before Unreal crashes, though. You know that, right? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm very scared right now. So like, yep, <laughs> <laughs> accepted it. Here I go, back to the Unity Asset Store. Got my shopping list. Man, again, cheating. Oh. <laughs> cheating? <laughs> Are you talking about yourself, Gorka, or someone else? <laughs> <laughs> and again, I'm cheating. Is anyone planning on having any enemies? Or is it just like, I'll have a gun? Yeah, of course. I will have AI and everything. Oh, boy. Gorka's going to have where you walk up to someone and then have an, an interactive AI conversation based upon how you <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't think I will get that far, but... <laughs> So I do kind of have a plan. You know the first level of Call of Duty 4 where it's a room with targets you run through and shoot? Oh yeah, yeah. Good idea. That's that's exactly. what I'm saying. We were thinking. just talking about that the other day, actually. That is a funny coincidence. Yeah, that's my plan for being fast, but let's see if it actually happens. If you're curious about learning Godot, Bram has just launched a course where it's Godot 3D and you can learn how to make a first person shooter and a tower defense and a Let's rocket project flying, boost. Project boost, flying a rocket around stuff. Gorka's reload mechanic. Oh. 
Nice. Look at this. <laughs> the most realistic animation you see. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, look at, look at this. Sorry, did you model those arms yourself? I'm, I'm actually the only person who's not going to have arms. I'm such a casual. Open source don't the need open no source. arms. Contestants, you have used up 20 valuable minutes and have 40 valuable minutes remaining. Dun, 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 Unreal's better than Unity. Maybe Godot's okay. We're yet to see. You know what I should prioritize right now? Some post-processing, because that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, good yeah. enough. I mean, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I'm done. If I had done, one wish for you, Stephen Hubbard, it would be for you to put in a new skybox. Oh, new it. skybox. Oh, did you seriously you know what, actually, change it from blue to slightly different blue? Uh, it looks nice. A it looks good. Blue. Even if you've got no enemies and no world and no level, but muzzle flare, I think you'll win. Okay, there we go. Boom. Fog. Yes. I Density. don't know if that had the impact you were hoping. <laughs> That's not the skybox I meant. Okay, Bram, talk us through where you're at at the moment. You do yeah. have two rooms and a couple of corridors. I can now press R and it spins the gun around in a pretendy reload animation. Nice. I'm going to break all the rules of everything I've ever taught in any of my courses and actually just throw everything out the window and have one master oh. god class. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Gorka hasn't had enough uh, harassment at this stage. <laughs> no, please. Getting, no, please, don't do it. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Your animator is like a food truck burrito where it was made in a hurry and not quite closed up properly down the bottom. There's no bullets, but soon I'll be so, able to abominate him. Gorka, you're about to launch an Unreal Stealth course. In that course, do you do much Good. in the way of AI? Yeah, it's covered in a very advanced way using behavior trees. So we'll cover... Uh, patrolling, AI detection, uh, and and a lot of different stuff. So that will be very interesting. The muscle flesh is like appearing like 20 meters from my pistol. Very weird. Steven, do you have a plan? Nope, and nope, 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 don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I was wondering if you had a plan AI-wise. <laughs> I'm going to try to get some stationary objects being shot and dying first, and then we're going to go from there. Dude, Rick, how impressed are you? Look at this gorgeous particle effect. Ooh, Look, my gun's yes. shooting. I've got a little machine gun going. You like that? Jeez, I didn't even know my arms were so low. Look at this. It's, what, what is going on here? That's right. right let's another, see if we can actually start. 15 minutes of fixing your muzzle flash, and you'll be ready to uh, work on gameplay. You are just stressing me out, bro. And does Gorka actually have things dying yet? I, okay, I need to concentrate. I need nearly, to nearly. dying. The process, you know? I've made the absolutely colossal mistake of doing some things I have to think about. So this is probably the first time in the whole event that I'm seeing multiple people actually coding and not just copy pasting from their other projects. So good work. I blew your mind with the muzzle flash. I know, I know. And give me another 120 seconds and I'll blow your mind and I'm going to kill some robots. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, good. Because Gork has been shooting at a guy since like minute two and Bram oh. now has uh, some targets in there that he's destroying. The first thing I made was a reload animation that I've not hooked up. So you can reload, but it does nothing. If I give this a little box collider, I should be able to shoot. And, I, and the, if you look at, take a look at the very bottom left in the console, it says cube, which is the floor. Yeah. Here's moment of truth. We're hoping that this changes. It hit. That was awesome. Whoa, Gork is winning the balloon race. Whoa, here. blood particle effects. They're crazy. That is exact. That's hyper realistic. Triple A. Yeah. Super realistic. Public void. Take damage. I am a programmer. I hope you guys are keeping up because I've got four targets and when you shoot them all you win. We should probably Starbucks. attach Starbucks. the health class to the robot. That tends to be an important step. I've also just done what I can only describe as a stroke of genius. Oh. Uh, when I won, my user interface was getting in the way of my new user interface. So I just deleted the old pause menu. Godot. <laughs> That's open source for you. Gork is smashing through his blueprint <laughs> scripts here. Dude, you're going quick on these things. Blueprints is crazy. Super cool to prototype them. It's like, zip, zip, there's like nodes and lines and stuff going everywhere. And now look at the, the guy's trying to smack you in the face. <laughs> That's awesome. It does look like I'm he's got right jazz here. hands though, doesn't it? He's like, what? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. he's trying to it's tap like dancing, you in the head. You know? boo, 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 boo. So I've been looking at your investment into particles here, Stephen. I think you've spent about 28 minutes now working on your explosion particles. It's going to be a little bit ridiculous, but you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys want me to give you an extra bonus five minutes? 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't turn it down. Oh yeah, we're going back to the Unity Asset Store for the 17th time. I am grabbing literally any asset I see and putting it in. Oh yeah, that tree makes all the difference. Okay, your bonus five minutes starts now. I don't think I've ever ignored console errors so hard in my <laughs> entire life. That's the game jam way of doing things. Error Schmera. Two minutes remaining. There'll be no more bonus no, time. No, no. Two minutes left. Gorka, look at him go. That's tough. <laughs> oh He's God. like, blueprint, blueprint, blueprint. Push the triple A button. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Oh, let, let me add my post processing good. highlights. No. <laughs> Woo. So I've got a few rooms. They're gray and they have assets in them. If I hit R, it reloads my gun. That's not hooked up. It doesn't do a single thing. I've got a target tracker in the bottom left. Uh, whenever I shoot a target, it says, oh, I've hit one of my 14 targets. Nice. If I hit all 14, I'll win. Let's go on to the next room. Ooh, some of these targets are moving. Oh, Pick those nice. off. <laughs> We've got more that are moving, and uh, I can hit it. I'm, I can hit it. Years of CSGO training paying off. There's an elevator. If I go down, we get to the last few targets. Wicked. Um, but here's the secret. Uh, I've missed one target. <laughs> no, I need to. I need, no one knows oh, no, no, about time that. Time for me to go back up the elevator. <laughs> It'll say I won and I did a bad job. <laughs> so we got a first-person shooter. So we got, you know, realistic animations. Especially blood particles effects. Uh, we've got AI that will chase you and when you you know get near, it will attack you. you can shoot the down, it will ragdoll. And everything was made in that hour, except animations and particles. Nice dig at everyone this... else there. Like I made all the stuff yeah. and you guys I saw didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, oh the and when you die you just you know fall they have 20,000 errors. Steven, representing Unity. So we have a little machine gun here and we can just, you know, blow them up. You hit them three times and, you know, we have a cool little explosion. We have some fun post-processing with some trees and shadows. And uh, there you go. That's where we got. Leave a comment below which game engine you think is best for creating first-person shooters. We'll see you in the next video. This bench is exactly covering up the last target. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs>